A Rover Story, Chapter 6, Journey. So ask yourself a question. Remember with every chapter title, hmm, someone going on a journey? Are we reading about a journey? Are they going to tell us what needs to happen on this journey? I don't know. Give yourself a purpose for reading. There is another Mars rover, one that is almost exactly like me. I learn of this Mars rover the day my cameras are connected to my brain. My entire body is still not whole. The scientists have not yet assembled my wheels or my arm or installed my outer shell. But the cameras are a big first step. I am able to see all around me now, not just sense the presence of objects. And in all this seeing, I spot the other rover. She is in the room next to mine. I can see through the glass windowed wall that separates us. She is like me, but different. She is not in pieces. Her brain is connected to her body, which is connected to her arm and to her camera eyes and to her wheels. You and this rover are the same, identical you are like siblings, Xander tells me. He points at the rover through the glass window. Siblings? No, Raina says. Stop anthropomorphizing. It's not professional. Ignore her, Rez. She's just jealous of our relationship, Xander says. It is so weird that you talk to the rover, Raina says. When you type code for it, you are talking to it. That's different, Raina says. I like Raina's code. I always understand what she is asking me to do. The tasks are clear, like lift your arm or take a photograph with your third rear left side camera or turn your wheels to the right. But I also like that Xander talks to me using human speech. It is frustrating that I cannot talk back. I understand what he's saying though. And I have a strong feeling that Xander somehow knows this. Once, when we were all in the lab, Raina said to Xander, trust me, she was editing his code. This will work, she said, and she was right. It worked. My wheels spun when she asked them to. Trust me, that's what Raina had said. Trust me. Trust was a word that I stored in my system. At first, I did not know what it meant. Humans have many words for their many feelings from listening to the hazmats talk, especially from listening to Raina when she is on her phone. I have mastered an understanding of sad and happy and angry and proud and, of course, frustrated. But trust has been hard to learn. Recently, though, I am fairly sure I have figured it out. Trust is what Xander has for me and my understanding of human speech. Trust is what Xander has when he lets Raina rewrite his code. Trust is what Raina has in our mission when she cancels her dinner plans with her family once again to stay late to work. It is a good thing to be trusted. Trust is something that the hazmats value. And so I am learning to value it too. I would like to be able to tell Xander that I trust him and also to tell Raina that I trust her, that I trust her code more than anything. I suppose that is another thing I have recently developed along with my preferences, the ability to want things to happen. Sometimes I think this might disappoint Raina if she knew this about me since she does not like when Xander acts as if I am capable of human feelings. I would never want to disappoint Raina. I would never want to give her a reason to not trust in our mission. That is journey, Xander says. He points at the rover again. Raina doesn't say anything, but she looks in the direction of Xander's finger. Once I am whole, I will look exactly like Journey. Journey already has her six wheels. We each will have a chemistry lab built inside our bodies so that we will be able to collect samples from Mars soil and analyze it. We each will have a working arm that we can use to collect those samples. Journey already has her working arm. I think the human word for the feeling I have about that is jealous.
If I had the ability of human speech, I would ask Xander why Journey already has her arm. I would ask if it is because she is a better rover than me. But I cannot ask Xander and Raina those questions. Instead, I go back to observing Journey. From studying her, I can learn more about my future body. Hello, Journey says through the glass wall. That is one of the benefits of machine speak. Glass walls are no barrier. Hello, I answered. <laughs> Here's a shout out. Jacob, how are you, buddy? This is your shout out. <laughs>